each chapter will uh, start with the foundation and they'll develop into more complex chapters as we go along. But uh, I will give you the information on the structured color, uh, limited palette, I'll do a demonstration, I'll give some exercises at the end of the chapter and I feel that if you work with this, listen to the videos and then do some of the exercises and are serious about this as you develop through this whole class structure, you're going to grow as a painter and that's what these videos are all about. Value is really one of the most important things you can think of when you're working in color. And the thing is, most people don't think of value as anything to do with color because it is basically the black and the white or the darks and the lights of color. But let me explain what this is all about. Every color has value, whether it's a yellow, an orange, a blue, a green, a light blue, a deep blue. If you can squint your eye and think of the darks and the lights, almost like it's black and white, whether you have a myriad of colors in your painting or not, and see the value, it is going to be the structure that holds it together. So getting back to this 12 color wheel, I'm going to just take two colors, the orange and the blue here, and I'm going to work in the center where you actually won't see blue or orange and just work with the dark and the light. So when we look at this intensity chart going from bright to dull, here's how it goes. I start with the pure hue, which is the permanent green light. Now I start to neutralize it a little with the red violet. And so this becomes a little duller. And each time I add a little more red violet, it gets duller and duller until I get to the center of the color wheel, basically, where I get a true neutral, which is a dull, lifeless color. And when you look at that, squint closely, you don't see any yellow green and you don't see any red violet. So it's a dull, lifeless color in the center. Now, progressively, we start to add more red violet and move out to the pure hue magenta and some brands call it quinacridone violet, which is on the opposite side of the color wheel. So these are the ranges. And just like with analogous value and contrasting value, we have the same thing going on with intensity. Anytime I have three closely related intensities, they're analogous uh, intensities, and they'll serve as a quiet area.